What's up everybody, it is I, Hero Vange, welcoming you to my Tempest Cup meta simplified guide for the Mirror Cup. Now, it doesn't look that simple, there's a lot of arrows, you know, but I promise you'll get it, plus you'll get the best picks, the best gouncers, the side grades, because the side grades are actually important in this one, unlike, you know, the Twilight Cup, the side grades actually are side grades here, so yeah. Okay, so let's start off with the first group, which is the flyers or i guess tropius is a flying type as well so you know the anti-grass okay we've got skarmory charizard plus alteria now they have like their own mini metagame within the group right so alteria uh beats charizard charizard beats skarmory but skarmory actually ties with alteria the thing is it's a cmp tie so it's not not an IV thing, definitely. It's a CMP tie, so whoever has CMP wins uh, this matchup. They do one important thing, which is kill the grass types. That's very important because the grass types kill a lot of dudes, kill a lot of Pokemon like that. That group right there, that is a lot of Pokemon. Very important Pokemon that, you know, the grass types kill. Now, some of them get pretty close, pretty close to beating the grass types, but... It's like a, it's an IV thing sometimes. Okay, we'll talk about it. Okay, so for Tropius specifically, uh, it is Ice Shard Lapras. That is one hell of a close fight, okay? You try it in The Sims. It's super close, okay? For uh, Obama Snow, it's Magneton. So, Legacy, Thundershock, Discharge, Magneton. Well, it just goes straight uh, Magnet Bomb. But yeah, that's a pretty close fight. Very IV dependent. So yeah, that they get pretty close. But where is Torterra? That's the question there. It's a grass type. It's got Razor Leaf, right? Which is 90% of what those dudes do. It's just Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf. Like, that's, a, that's what they do. Where's Torterra, bro? Okay, here's the thing. It's a long story, but... Tropius is the best grass type in the entire Tempest Cup meta, bar none, right? There's uh, debatable? I don't think so. If you had a Tropius, you would use it. It's awesome. It's tanky. It's dependable, okay? But the thing is, do you have it? It's a regional. Are you gonna go to South America? Where, where does it, this thing live? Any, I, I don't know. Do you, are you gonna have it? Now, another problem with Tropius is that once we talk about Ice Shard Lapras, you're going to realize that Ice Shard Lapras is freaking awesome for the Tempest Cup. We'll talk about it. But yeah, it gets really close with Ice Shard Lapras. You should run the Sims. It's fascinating. So that's two things we have to consider, right? One, I have to give my recommendation for the people who don't have Tropius because there's people who play PvP uh, outside of South America. Where does this thing live? I don't know. Banana Land? Yeah. And I, I care about those viewers, right? So the second thing is that it gets so close to a Pokemon that had a raid day, okay? So people are gonna have Ice Shard Lapras. So yeah, what beats Ice Shard Lapras clean? Not Torterra because Torterra loses. Torterra loses plus Ice Shard Lapras gets to a Surf so you can take it. And lose by a lot. Well, not a lot, really, but you know, you but lose more or block it and still lose. You don't get to a charge attack with Torterra. So, you know, that sucks, right? So, Obama Snow is definitely a side grade. Okay, it's got that side matchup that Tropius has problems with. Okay, so but Torterra does not. Now within the group, it goes from left to right. Tropius beats Obama Snow. So we're moving on to the final group. That was pretty fast. The thing is, the other two groups, the flyers or like the anti-grass plus the grass types, they're not as complex as this group. This group is pretty complex. There's a lot of stuff we're gonna talk about. So yeah. Basically what this group does is they beat these three, okay? So yeah, they're the anti-flyers, the anti-anti-grass. But the thing is, not every single Pokemon there beats every single one of these Pokemon. There are some exceptions. Right here, did it transition? Y you see it? Cool? Nice. So yeah, not all of those anti-flyer Pokemon beat the trio, okay? So, but the thing is, if you look at these exceptions, plus the, the groups over there, you can see that there's one Pokemon out of each of the three uh, mini groups, right, that beat all three. Okay, we'll talk about it. Let's talk about 
the Mud Boys first, okay? They're solid. Pretty good choices. Each one, definitely a side grade, okay? So, yeah, I don't think that... They're all good choices, basically, but let's talk about the advantages, disadvantage. Let me, let me like, break it down for you, okay? So, the thing is, if you want to beat all three, Skarm, Charizard, uh, Altaria, you want to use Quagsire, but you don't want to use the usual Mudshot, Earthquake, Stone Edge. It doesn't work, okay? If you run that, you lose against Skarm, you lose against Altaria, making you the worst mud boy okay because the other two can at least handle one of those because all three can beat charizard right so yeah so what do you run then what you want to run is you want to go water gun okay acid spray and stone edge if you run that you can beat all three but the thing is it's not gonna work on uh, fantastic pvpers who watch my videos you guys what's up how you doing why why vange because I'm about to tell you that all you need to do is to block the second charge attack. Why? Because Quagsire here needs to get the Acid Spray debuff and then land the Stone Edge to kill Altaria's Skarmory. Okay? So what does that mean? Block the second charge attack. No matter what, you win. Because if the first charge attack is a Stone Edge, it's not a powered down Stone Edge, right? So you still win. So yes, it's a gimmick. That is very easily countered by knowledge that I just imparted to you. But the thing is, it's going to give you fantastic utility plus matches don't really just follow simulations, right? You're going to be swapping. So that acid spray is going to be fantastic in certain situations. It's still a side grade because there's something that we haven't talked about with Quagsire. We'll talk about it later. Okay, so don't throw the, the towel on him yet. All right. Next, let's talk about Swampert. Swampert loses to Altaria but beats Charizard. All three of them do. Okay. Plus Skarmory. Okay. But the thing is, if you're considering running Swampert, you definitely want to make sure that your PvP IVs are good. Because if you run the simulation, right? Skarmory versus Swampert. On default stats, you win, sure. But you come out with 1 HP. That's super close, right? Is that is that really like an IV thing? Yes, because if you maximize the stats, you actually come out with 9 HP, which is much more solid. Now, the nice thing about running Swampert is that it beats the other two Mud Boys, okay? So that's definitely an advantage. Now with Whiskash, it loses to Skarmory, but it beats Charizard. Yes, all of them do. Plus Altaria. Altaria is a sure match because if you go Blizzard Blizzard, you still have the match, so that's a sure match, right? Yeah, if they don't block the first uh, Blizzard, oh man, that's bad. That's bad news. Now, Whiskash has the fastest ground charge attack, which is fantastic because the Mud Boys also beat the Electric types. Within the group, it goes from left to right, so Swampert beats Quagsire plus Whiskash. Quagsire beats Whiskash, and Whiskash is just twirling his uh, mustache, okay? But another Pokemon that you can uh, have there is Steelix. Steelix actually fits right there, but the thing is, it doesn't beat all the electric types. It loses to Lantern, right? Plus, it loses to all the Mud Boys. I think that it's just not as, not as good. Okay, so moving on to the electric types. If you want to beat Skarm, Charizard, Altaria, all three, you go Golem. Okay, Graveler too, but it doesn't work like Go Graveler. That's not as good as Go Golem, right? Okay, but yes, both. Now, that's a very nice advantage that Alolan Golem plus Graveler have, right? But, exception right here, okay? If you didn't notice, it's the Electric type that loses to Lapras. Moving on to the next Electric, okay? Magneton. Magneton, it's a legacy Pokemon. Do you have it? If you do, fantastic because it doesn't actually lose to one of the three. It just ties. It ties with Charizard. Okay, so it beats uh, Skarm, it beats Altaria, and it ties with Charizard. That's nice. But dude, I don't have a Legacy Magneton. Magnezone though, right? 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 It's the same. It's the same. It is not the same. It is not the same. It can lose to Altaria and it straight up loses to Charizard. So it's not as good, okay? Altaria needs to get the Shield Bait plus Dragon Pulse for the kill, but 
it can still do it, right? Charizard, it can straight up kill it, okay? So, yeah, not as good. Finally, we have Lantern, who loses to Altaria, but beats Charizard plus Skarm. Plus, it beats the the other two, okay? The other electrics. Within the group, it goes from left to right. Lantern beats Magneton plus Alolan Golem. Magneton beats Alolan Golem. Golem is just a bearded rock. Now, before we move on, I have something weird to share with you. I used to think that Sileo beat Water Gun Lantern in the same shielding scenario, right? But no, it actually loses in the simulations. The thing is, I, I'm like, I, I was so sure, but now I'm, I'm like confused. So I'm not so sure about that match. But since my last Tempest Cup, PV Poke has become more accurate for sure, right? I'm just not so sure about that one matchup. I, I have to test it out. But moving on to the Ice Water type Pokemon, they do the thing. Plus, they beat the Mud Boys, except for Quagsire. Quagsire beats them. Okay, so that's the thing that I told you about. It's the exception. Yeah. Plus, Sileo plus Whiskash, they tie. Okay, so that's another thing. It's not that much of an advantage to Whiskash, not like Quagsire. Quagsire beats them. So if you want to beat all three flyers, you want to go Ice Shard Lapras, which is looking to be fantastic for the Tempest Cup because it's got that Tropius match a little bit. You know, it's got Golem. It's got the Mud Boys except for Quagsire. Plus, yeah, so it's got, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Okay, so let's talk about Sileo, who loses to Charizard, even if Charizard goes straight Blast Burn. Yeah, that sucks. But the thing is, it can tie with Charizard if you go Water Pulse, right? Body Slam, Water Pulse, uh, Powder Snow for the fast attack for sure, right? But I want you to think about this, right? Do you want a chance to tie with a Pokemon that so many other Pokemon beat? Or do you want a chance to one-shot Tropius? Hmm? Ha 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 ha! Now the matchup with Altaria is a sure thing. With Skarm, it's iffy because you have to get uh, a, body a body slam, shield bait, if I can speak English properly. Plus, you have to land to Aurora Beam. So, iffy a little bit. But the nice thing about Sileo, it body slams Lapras into the ground. But that is the Tempest Cup meta simplified. If you want to take a screenshot, go ahead. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Remember to leave a like, comment down below which cup you're running for the Mirror Cup. Okay, let me know so I can focus my videos. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.